Hello everyone and welcome to another super quick video and this is going to be an awesome update because now Upstage is finally on Tabletop Sim. That's right, Bittersweet Candy Bowl Upstage is now available to play on Tabletop Sim. All you have to do is go to the Steam Workshop, look up Bittersweet Candy Bowl Upstage and you can download the card game. Normally I would just end the video there, but I wanted to actually explain how you play this game because it's a little confusing at first and it took me a little while to figure out the ins and outs, but once you understand it, it's really simple. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get out five red cards. That'll be three character cards, one day card, and one setting card. So as you can see here, we have Sue, we have Jasmine, we have Lucy, we have the carnival as our location, and the birthday party as the event card. The next thing that's going to happen is that each player is going to receive five cards. It's going to be three of the red cards and two of the yellow cards, which are script cards. Now the game says that you're supposed to keep these script cards face down so no one else can see them, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and put them face up on the table. Now with Tabletop Simulator, you can put them in your own personal deck so nobody can see what's in your hand, but like I said, just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to have them face up. So you have two script cards, but you only need to get one filled out. And what does that mean? Well, if you look down here at both of these cards, they have two characters, they have a day card, and they have a setting card. Two characters, day card, setting card. And your job is to get cards that match with these. So if you look right here, I need to get a Stacy card and a Maya card, an ordinary day card, and an at school setting card in order to complete this script. So how do you receive the cards you need in order to finish these scripts? Well, assuming you don't already have one of the cards that you need, you'll have to come up here to the center stage in order to find it. So right here, we have Sue. And if you look down here, I need a Sue. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this Sue and bring her all the way down here. Now, we need to replace this card. So we're going to put our Katie up here in order to replace that character card. Now you can only replace one card per turn. Once you've swapped out a card, it goes on to the next player. And you guys go round robin around the table until someone comes down to the final card they need to finish a script. Once you come to that final card, you need to say upstage or else vague punishment will happen. But you only need to say upstage once. Now once you've swapped your card out, you do need to come up here and grab another one. So it looks like we have three plot twist cards, which really isn't a great hand, but it gives me a good opportunity to explain what these are. These are basically Upstage's version of the Uno Reverse or Skip cards. They're special event cards that forces the other player's hand. So let's go ahead and take a look at what Phone Call says. If you play Phone Call, Name a character and introduce them to your staging area, no matter whether you take them from another player or deck. So essentially what this is saying is that you can go ahead and name one of the characters you need and grab it out of the deck. So if I want to fill out this Amaya and Sue card, I could be like, okay, Amaya, I'm giving Amaya a phone call. And I come up here to the deck and I keep flipping the cards over until I find Amaya. And of course this card gets discarded and then I pick up another card which happens to be another plot twist. You essentially just keep following the plot twist cards, whatever they say on them, they're all going to be different. And so yeah, that's it. All you got to do is swap out character or day or setting cards until you get cards that match these. And once you have all four cards, you can come up with a fun little story for them. It's basically the RP or fan fiction part of this game. And then that's it. You put all the cards back and shuffle them and start again. Remember that this is now available on Tabletop Simulator, Bittersweet Candy Bowl Upstage, look for it in the workshop. And there are card templates, so new cards can be added, although that's gonna be like a whole mess because you're gonna have to rebalance everything else to make sure that you don't have cards that are basically useless. For example, if we added James as a character card here, well, none of the base game cards include James, so you would have to essentially come up with a new script card in order to include James. The same goes for if you wanted to add any new locations like the arcade or the movie theater or the park. With all that being said, go ahead and check this out on the Steam Workshop, and I will see you all next time.